welcome on board to a magical ride across the Kyonik Sea. Kyonik Sea is a natural lake in the extreme southeast Vajtesgarhna land district of the German state of Bavaria and near the Austrian border. Today, let's enjoy this ride and get to know more about the place and how much time you can spend over here. We started our day by 8 in the morning as we wanted to take the first boat which starts at 9 and then in the interval of every half an hour. We took a short walk of 5 to 7 minutes across a very beautiful water flow from the dam looking at the amazing view. You can also take the alternate route of the same duration which goes through the souvenir shops in the other side. The weather was a bit cold as it was drizzling and it was the month of October. So I would advise to wear proper winter clothes and carry umbrellas or rain jackets for sure. Once we are at the dock, we see the ticket counter with three windows for the sale of tickets. As we were early and also went on a weekday, which was a good choice, the crowd was comparatively less. We took a ticket of 23 euros, which would cover the entire journey from the dock to St. Bartholoma and then to Oversee from there. You can buy tickets based on your need. I have attached the price details from the official website. At this place, we will find beer gardens, restaurants and public toilets as well. The lake is noted for its clear water and is advertised as the cleanest lake in Germany. For this reason, only electric powered passenger ships, rowing and pedal boats have been permitted on the lake since 1909. Due to its picturesque setting, the lake and the surrounding parklands are very popular with tourists and hikers. In addition, the surrounding sheer rock walls create an echo known for its clarity. On boat tours, it has become traditional to stop and play a flugelhorn or a trumpet to demonstrate the echo.
St. Bartholomew's is a Roman Catholic pilgrimage church in the Berchtesgadener Land district of Bavaria in Germany. It is named after St. Bartholomew, the Apostle, patron of Alpine farmers and dairymen. The church is located at the western shore of the Koenig Sea Lake on the Hirschau Peninsula. It can only be reached by ship or after a long hike across the surrounding mountains. A first chapel at the lake was built in 1134 by the Provost of Burstes Garden. In 1697, it was rebuilt in a Baroque style with a floor plan modeled on Salzburg Cathedral, two onion domes and a red domed roof. We were mesmerized with the view which we were looking at. The huge mountains covered with clouds, the mountains from far covered with snow, which was barely visible with the cloud which we were having that day. It was an amazing experience to be there. We stayed there for a good amount of time, just strolling around the park which is there, which has a lot of sitting places you can just sit and look at the clear water and the mountains. It is a very beautiful location to sit and relax and also has a few restaurants where you can try some amazing food. We spend some good amount of time here in this very small island and then started for our next journey to the Obersee. One of the boats 
picks you up for a journey of another half an hour. Our trip to Overseas will be in the next video. Do stay tuned to watch our journey to the next beautiful destination. Thanks for joining us till here.